CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us now. Uh, Ricky, let's talk about this because it's fascinating to me. I'm curious about what you make of the case. On air, you have Fox hosts saying one thing. Behind the scenes, they're saying something very differently. What you have is this very high bar that has to be made when there is a defamation case. So what the plaintiffs are saying is that Fox was looking for money. Fox was looking for viewers. And that's why they did what they did. And they did it knowingly. That And it was false. On the other hand, what Fox is saying is they're saying it really wasn't the corporation that was doing this. And what was happening was that there may have been some quote unquote commentators who were simply voicing an opinion. Now, opinion may be protected under the First Amendment, not that it was simply spouting fact. Let me give you an easy example. If you say John Doe won the election, that is fact. If you say John Doe was the greatest president ever seen, that is opinion. So what, do, what Fox is saying is Dominion is exaggerating and that you have to look at everything in context and that they were only presenting allegations. And if it's allegations, you're allowed to present them or else we would never have news coverage. OK, that may be the legal um, argument. But, Ricky, these, these Fox commentators have a lot of power with their audience. So they're knowingly saying things that they know are not true, according to their texts uh, amongst themselves. Doesn't that matter? Well, of course it matters, and it's going to matter a great deal in terms of proof when this trial goes forward in April. That what you are saying privately, and it's exactly the opposite of what you are saying publicly. So that's why Dominion has a strong case. Can it meet that actual high bar of defamation, of showing that the information was false, that they knew it was false, that they did it anyway, and that the executives could have stopped it? Well, we're going to see what happens this spring. Well, a lot of us are watching. Thank you very much, Ricky Kleeman. Always good to see you.